My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. The Washington Post actually attacked President Obama. And it's a very surreptitious, amusing, kind of underhanded, cowardly, somewhat accurate, criticism or critique of President Obama that actually helps Trump. Obama's secret struggle to punish Russia for Putin's election assault. These people who write for the Washington Post, democracy dies in darkness. This is the definition of Orwellian. You have John Podesta. So John Podesta is shining the light on darkness? <laughs> is that... Anyway, um... They're painting it as, gosh, you know, President Obama wanted to do something about Russian hacking, but that he was just so, he, there are so many things stopping him from preventing Putin uh, from tipping the scales and hurting Hillary Clinton, who should have won. So when people say, well, Clinton's not in power, yes, she is. We're talking about June 20, it's June 23rd, 2017. I'll read you early last August. An envelope with extraordinary handling res uh, restrictions arrived at the White House, sent by courier from the CIA. It carried eyes only instructions that its contents be shown to just four people President Barack Obama and three senior aides. Inside was an intelligence bombshell. Why didn't they email President Obama? So they've, they know that every, th every aspect of cybersecurity in the U.S. government has been compromised. That's bizarre. Inside, inside was an intelligent bo intelligence bombshell, a report drawing from sourcing deep inside the Russian government that detailed Russian, uh, Russian President Vladimir's direct involvement in a cyber campaign to disrupt and discredit the U.S. presidential race. This is all bullshit, by the way. This is the Washington... The, the National Enquirer is more reputable than the Washington Post, officially. So they attack Obama. It's not viewed as an attack by Democrats, but... But in the end, in late December, Obama approved a modest package combining measures that had been drawn up to punish Russia for other issues. Expulsions of 35 diplomats and the closure of two Russian compounds, with economic sanctions so narrowly targeting that even those who helped design them described their impact as largely symbolic. He didn't do anything tangible dummies at the Washington Post because there's no direct evidence. James Clapper stated there's no direct evidence. Jay Johnson, Department of Homeland Security Chief under President Obama, no direct evidence. Maxine Waters, no direct evidence. James Clapper, no Did I say James Clapper, no direct evidence. Dianne Feinstein, no direct evidence. So you have Johnson, Clapper, Feinstein, Maxine Waters, Adam Schiff, no direct evidence. Nobody has any direct evidence. Impeach him already, Democrats. It's June 23rd, 2017. You're still talking about the election. And now the Washington Post, Obama's secret struggle to punish Russia for Putin's election assault. President Obama shouldn't have done anything against Russia because nobody knows. The NSA is only moderately confident. The DNC has never given its computer service to the FBI. And it's almost certainly a, a leak, not a hack. They would have hacked Hillary Clinton's private server that was unencrypted for three months that contained top secret special access born classified intelligence. Give me your thoughts below. This is kind of hilarious. Obama admin choked on Russia, former officials say. This is the Washington Post. Give me your thoughts below. Nobody choked on Russia, actually. Obama didn't choke on Russia. He knew very well that it was all bullshit. And he lied to the American people regarding Hillary Clinton's private server. He knew of that. We know that from Cheryl Mills' email and the Podesta emails. Um, the biggest issues we already know of, but the Washington Post is not going to talk about that. They're going to basically spin a narrative revolving around Trump colluding with Russia 
that is linked to zero evidence. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.